Hey guys, welcome to a new video on Nail Possible. Today I have a new package from Born Pretty Store to share with you. They kindly sent me some new stuff to try. This package arrived in about a month and a week, which for me is a little bit faster than it usually takes. Okay, so these are the things that they sent me, but hold on, I still need to unpack this one. Alright, so these are all the things I got. First of all, these powders. I am very, very late to the nail powder party. These are the mirror effect ones, and as you probably know, these are made to work with gel. But I don't use gel, so I'm curious to see how close you can get to the same finish with regular polish. This over here is a water-based base coat and I got this one because it seems like an important step with these powders, so we'll see. And I also got this sponge tool thingy to make gradients. I've seen people use this one and they make it seem very easy. It has a tiny sponge on each side. One is just round and the other one is kind of pointy. Both sponges are replaceable, but apparently they're reusable, so you should be able to clean them. Usually for gradients, people use these disposable sponges, but once the polish dries, it hardens and basically you cut that off and you can use the rest of the sponge. So we'll see, because this tool looks amazing, but I, I don't know. Okay, so the powders. I have been testing these powders for a long time. I've been doing test after test after test to try to figure out what works and what doesn't, at least for me, and it has been a long wig, you guys, because these are not easy to work with when you're not using gel. And then I ran out of the black polish I was using to test, so then I grabbed the other black polish I own, which I almost run out of as well. So then I tried to go and get more black polish, but I couldn't find any of the two anywhere. I also ruined my stamper. This is the stamper you see me use in almost all my videos, and it's just completely damaged. I'm like 90% sure what happened to it, but I didn't exactly see it happening, so I'm not completely sure, but yeah, it was, it was just one of those weeks. So anyway, I was gonna show you all the tests, but it became a super long video, so instead I decided to show you one of my favorite ways to use these powders. So that's what we're gonna do. These powders work best over black polish, so this right here is dry to the touch but it's just a little bit sticky when you touch it. I'm gonna take both powders and my poor poor stamper. I can't use this stamper anymore to stamp but it will work just fine for what we're gonna do here. I'm going to take a little bit of the powder with one of my fingers and then a little bit of the other powder with another finger. Then I'm going to tap the first powder onto the stamper then the other powder and then rub them both to blend them a little bit. So I'm just going to go back and forth until I'm happy with the gradient and then I'm just gonna stamp it on the nail. It's super simple and super easy, but remember to work a little bit fast so your polish doesn't dry completely. Nothing seems to happen to the stamper. You can remove the excess powder with a lint roller or a little bit of tape and it goes back to normal. Now because mine is very very damaged, the powder gets stuck in there but it's fine. Like I said, this doesn't really work for stamping anymore, but if you want to use your stamper for something like this, it should be fine afterwards, but if you have a spare or a cloudy stamper or just one that you don't use a lot, you might want to try to use that one instead. Now we're going to apply the water-based base coat so we don't lose the finish too much. The powder is easy to remove from the skin, you can use acetone like I'm doing here, but if it gets too stubborn, you can just wash your hands and it will come right off. I don't think the water-based base coat is very protective, so once it's dry, you might want to use a top coat. I'm going to use the Miracle Gel Top Coat by Sally Hansen because it's the closest thing I have to gel. And there you go. Now let's move on to the sponge thingy. I have a fake nail here with some nail polish. I used Sally Hansen Street Flare and the other color I will be using is going to be Lost Worthy by Morgan Taylor. 
I'm going to use this finger palette but any surface you can clean or you can toss later will work just fine. So I'm going to add a little bit of the dark polish to the palette and I'm going to tap the sponge to pick up some of the color. Remove the excess a little bit and just start applying it. The polish seems to dry very quickly so it's very hard to make the gradient. I might not be using this correctly or maybe this tool is just not for polish. I'm going to add a little bit more and yeah, this is definitely not giving me the easy gradient I was expecting. Okay, so I don't think this is going to get any better, so I'm just gonna stop right there. And this is what the sponge looks like now. I'm going to add a top coat to the gradient to blend the colors. And yeah, no, this is not a good gradient. I'm not good at gradients in general, but this is just a terrible, terrible job. I think I might be doing something wrong, so I'll have to look into that, but I'm thinking this tool is just not for nail polish because I've seen it work, but I think they were using gel. Okay, so the moment of truth, let's see how reusable this sponge is. I have a cup here, this is just the cup I use when I clean up my cuticles. And I have a paper towel, so I'm going to pour some acetone and just dip the sponge in there and dab it on the paper towel. So it seems like the color does come off, but the sponge is now stained forever. The sponge grows in size, kind of like a beauty blender if you use that with your makeup. So I'm guessing once it's dry, it will go back to normal size. Alright, so what did I think about these products? Let's start with the powders. They are very, very cool, but you need to find a way to make them work for you if you're not using gel. Personally, I like them, I think the end result looks really nice, but they're kind of tricky. If anyone's interested in all the tests and what worked and what didn't and all that good stuff, let me know in the comments because it's a lot of footage so it's gonna be a long video so maybe there's no need for another video showing you how to use these. So just let me know what you think in the comments. Now the water-based base coat. I am very glad I got this one because I think it's kind of important to get the look you would get with gel. I was gonna test it as a peel of base coat but I don't think this one is a peel of base coat. I think they have another one that does say that it's a peel of base coat but I'm okay if it's only meant to be used with the powders. The only downside I think is that it takes a while to dry down but it does a pretty good job I think. And finally this guy. I don't know, I am not happy with this gradient, I think I would have gotten a better result with just a regular sponge. It just, I think it just doesn't work with regular nail polish. The sponge goes back to regular size once it dries, it seems just as soft as it was before, so I guess it is reusable and you can clean it, but I think the plastic holding the sponge melted a little bit with the acetone I used, so I might have ruined this one, I don't know. I mean, it seems fine, but I need to see if the sponge is still working after this. Okay, so that's it for this video, which ended up being long anyway. I hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did, and thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video, bye!